All right, welcome back everybody. So I got to do the blue chest the right way. I did it the wrong way. The wrong way is not good. The right way is better. So what I'm going to do, take that and take my green ones. Yeah, that's right. It's always somebody else's fault. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to take these lights and we're going to put lights I don't have any lights, do I? Okay. In fact, why don't I only pick up lights in there? We'll move this all down. JJ, are you crying? JJ, why are you crying? JJ, please don't cry. Okay, now the lights will go in the middle there. I don't have any lights on me, do I? No, I don't. Um, let's actually go ahead and play with this middle section as well. Okay, let's go down here. Lights. I don't, I, there are 16 lights right there. Wait, wait, do we have the programming in here? Yeah, 334, 334. Making sure they all have 334. Okay, excellent. Da, da, da. tear up what we did up here and don't pick up the rails so let's go ahead and start down here and just tear all these up missing a there okay so these have to be reversed okay so we'll put the lights what do we do lights on top no poles on top Just enough lights. I have th four lights, but I, just, I need three. Okay, now we'll make a new blueprint. These all have the right... Looks like they're all good. Okay, so we take this and we actually go up and capture that. And we're missing green inserters, lights, chests. All right. 
Right. There, everybody's happy, it seems. I think I have the station right. I just need more stuff. I love doing this. Have some logistic robots. I think that also more or less equally distributes them. Lights and blue chests. Oh, we have some more blue chests here. I don't know if it's enough. Probably not. Maybe. Is it? It is. Surprisingly. Now we just need more lights. Oh, let's put a radar down. I have radars, don't I? I have 33 radars. So let's put a radar like right here. And one right here. How far does that extend? Not quite far enough. Let's put radars at the end as well. There we go. Complete radar coverage of my stations. All right. So we're looking at six minutes. Okay, so let's repair. Repair the damage. So we have to move this guy back. You have to go back. Right, JJ? And let's go ahead and delete all this. Oh. I should name the stations so I can tell the trains to go there. This is called Factorio. I don't no, know. If no, 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 no. This triangle on the board. Uh, I don't know. What am I doing? Did you draw that? Did I? I don't know. See, with this, it's just like you're just writing down what's in your head. You're not really explaining everything. It's just like. Isn't it fun to try and guess what I'm doing, though? <laughs> Uh, train station? Maybe. Let me see. Where? Right here. No, that's probability. Okay. I was, I I was investigating, there. like, when you have two dice versus three dice, how the probability curve changes. And it turns out it's pretty fantastic. It's amazing. It's incredible. Um. Those of you who know calculus will probably appreciate what I discovered, which probably isn't a new discovery. When you roll one dice, you get a linear distribution, right? Um, like let's say three, six, uh, one six-sided dice, you get, well. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, each of them has Yeah, equal. Dice. And when you roll two D6, two six-sided dice, what do you get? You get, well, it's like a triangle, right? It goes up. And then it goes down and it goes up linearly and it goes down linearly right so when you did three you get this weird curve right and the curve matches a parabola right wait so and i imagine when you get four you probably get a cubic curve right anyway but one two three the slope of a line is zero right the derivative of a line is zero the slope of a you know flat line is or a straight line is a you know constant line and the slope of a parabola is a constant line it's not a constant line it's a uh, 
No, 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 no. It's it's a it's a you know a, a slope line, right? So somehow the derivative of the 3d6 is the same as 2d6. The derivative of 2d6 is the same as 1d6, right? Question. Acquiring minds want to know. First of all, why is that? Second of all, why? 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 Oh shoot! Oh no, Dad. I messed up. Why is it on the end? On the oh end man, I messed up. Dad, why is it on the end of a? No, it's fine. It's fine. I just got to make it longer. End of a rail. It has that weird thingy at the end. What are those weird thingies at the end? The what? There's weird thingies at the end. Of... Like these things? No, like right there. Like that? Yeah, those weird. That's things. uh, it's to stop the train from going off the end of the track. Oh. Yeah. So. Oh. I don't know why he's going on the computer. The only thing that needs to be cleaned is the kitchen. And. No, mom said it isn't, and they can't even get in. Mom said it's not, Archie. And they can't get no, in the mom kitchen. Mom said it's not because JJ made his own mess and he didn't want to clean it up. What do you? Is mean? that why you got kicked out, JJ? No. That's why you got kicked out. You got I kicked. I did clean you, it. You you got kicked out of the kitchen. I. Because I don't I'm not know. Sure the house was mostly clean, but the floor was vacuumed. Yeah, so Kayla Kayla did that mostly, but um. Well, oh, that's not what I want. Don't you need more robots? Yeah, I do. I need a lot of things. I'll get them in a minute. Right now, I'm just measuring. 70. 70. 70. 70? Is that how you measure? 70. 70. But six. No. Do you want to remove that? Yes. Oh, I thought you were counting. So I'm going to measure 70. So that means I get down to 30. Kitchen is clean, I guess. What did mom say? Yeah, that's She's, thirty. She she just said that there's bread out, and that's no, like it. Not what she said, Still clean it up, okay? I can't even get in. Yes, you can. Did mom kick you out? Yes. No. Say, mom, if I clean, can I get in the kitchen? Mommy, that's the reason why I got kicked out. Because you weren't cleaning, or you were cleaning. I don't know. You don't. I'm gonna take a wild guess and think that it's because you weren't cleaning. What do you think, JJ? Then why would I even get kicked out? Because you were getting in mom's way? She was upset with you? Maybe. Gee, how did you know? I I'm just guessing. I I don't know much. So let's actually put some more fuel in there. I should do this with train stations. Let's do this with train stations. I have train stations. I intend to use them. So this would be copper plate one. This is copy to iron plate one. Internal unload ore and coal. So this is copper plate. It doesn't do double click the word. Let's have you go to copper plate one. Internal unload ore and coal until time passed. Go. And this will be copper plate one. See, it's called iron plate one, internal load ore and coal. Until time passed. So what happens if 
if you could move the trash in the trash. Okay, so he has no path. Let's go make a path. More trees. There's so many trees. What is with the trees? Stop it with the trees, I say. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that at all. And we need signals. Little sticks. But mine's in the way. Oh well. Um, you can go ahead and stop now. Ryan's here. Hi, Ryan. Where are you downstairs? You said Ryan's here. And you're Ryan. And you, you. I don't understand, Daniel. You, you confused me. Actually, I can make this closer. Because this is the one that needs to curve around. Huh? So this. The furnace can fit right in here, load and unload. What if I had two different two different paths, one for loading and one for unloading? And then we just had you know little crossing signals. So there are two separate networks that just happen to be superimposed upon one another. What if? That's a good question. What if is always a good question. All right, so let's grab my handy dandy fundy dundy um, furnaces. Take them all, and then we do handy dandy fundy dundy. And Okay, this is actually um, internal load. I'm just going to call it plate. This is copper plate one internal unload plate. <laughs> <sighs> load plate until time passed and unload plate until time passed. Are you playing Factorio? I again? am. Hey Ryan, can you wait downstairs, please? Sure. Internal unload plate. Time passed. Okay. So what? Unload plate has to go here, and then loading. Yes, 
Yes, yes! This is beautiful. What, am I out of... What's going on? Not enough rails. Not enough rails! How despicable! It is 20 minutes in. I need to wrap this up, but I just wanted to do this really quick. So... I'm going to go out. And these four guys... I think this is right. I, I could be wrong. I don't want to check, though. So... Is it actually allowed to be on my computer? First Dad. of all, I cleaned out. There's chores that are done. Okay. And that means try to report my friend. Okay. So this Everything guy. Is clean. We have a new nurse station here. Internal unload. Or in coal. Internal load. Or in coal until time passed. And then internal unload. Core. And Daniel, are you supposed to be sitting on the table? Stop doing that to the mouse pad. Do you want. Hey, stop. You don't touch. <laughs> So he loads up with ore and coal. And then he goes to unload. Why is it blocked? Oh, because we don't have signals. And then this guy is going to come down here. And then there we go. That is a regular rail yard. Why can't you go? This should clear out right about now. You should be going. Yep. There we go. Now I've got to uh, make some more room from that mine. Of course, these will go faster once they get the rocket fuel in them. That's how they're going to operate. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll continue next time. Take care and bye-bye.